Okay. What is a hidden talent most people don't know you have? I can sew. You can sew? Yes. Do you make your own clothes? I do not yet. I, w I wish I had time, but yes, I can sew. Where did you learn to sew? From my mother. Greetings from Connecticut. State flower is the Mountain Laurel. What was your first car and what is your dream car? Uh, I've never owned a car, I've never owned a license, never driven, none of us. Well, you've had a license, yeah. I guess, but none of us have had a license. Uh, I guess my dream car, I don't know, uh, maybe like a nice Range Rover or G-Wagon or something. Yeah, um, definitely it kind of sucks to have a car in the city unless you're loaded, because then you can just drive it and do a lot and leave it there, but if you have to park, it kind of sucks, so. Well, look, I drive every day. You're not missing out on anything. Yeah, the problem is now I live in Philly. Oh, you do? I do, yeah. And uh, kind of do have to drive there, so I end up taking more Ubers than I would like, but I'm home quite a bit when I'm home, so. It's still probably cheaper than Definitely. owning a car. Definitely. I mean, Uber, even Ubering the amount you do still, Definitely. I think. Way cheaper than a monthly payment. Uh, what in life do you still regret? Um, when we first started Too Many Zoos and I first started getting my act together, um, I always wanted to have like, a cool nickname. I go by like Leo P, my full name's Leo Pellegrino. Technically it's a nickname, but it's definitely not cool. It's just Leo P. Um, I think it's really boring. And I really wanted the name to be Switchblade. And uh, David and Matt were, I, I feel like strongly against it is probably not the right term. But they definitely made me understand that they thought it was probably not a good move. And I still regret it to this day. Because I didn't have the confidence that I would be able to succeed. So I wasn't really like, like the idea in my head of like traveling the world playing original music wasn't there. So I didn't have enough confidence to be like, I'm Switchblade. And I backed out and I still regret it to this day. Do you want me to font you as Switchblade? Yeah, yeah, that'd be great. I'm not putting your name anywhere on this. All it's gonna say is Switchblade. Thank you. Yeah, I'm Thank on you. it for you. I'm here for you. Thank you. Tell me the name of an artist that I might not be listening to that I should be listening to. Marcos G. Mm. Marcos G. And um, King Gizzard and the Lizard Wizard. I know them. Yeah. Yeah, you probably know them, but I'm obsessed with their lifestyle. It's really good. Mm. I would say Thumpasaurus. Yeah, that's a good one. That's a good one. Wow, that's a hard one for me. I'm trying to think. I got another one. Go for it. Domi, Domi Keys and JD Beck. I'm trying to think. Because recommendation for me means a lot for art. So that's, that's going out on a limb, man. Um, How about like St. John or something? Yeah. OK, St. John. St. John. Yeah. All right, St. John. St. Final thing is, throw me some flowers. You were talking about that earlier. What's it mean? Uh, it's my, what my six-year-old son says all the time when he wants to be congratulated on something.